Hello viewers, welcome along to episode 6 of what is our Rangers PES 2019 Master League series and now that we have slightly recovered from that minimal rage session yesterday as we played our first old firm it's time to calm things down a bit just slightly now uh, with what is a big match against Krasnodar at the end of last video I asked you guys uh, to tell me which game I should go for next Krasnodar seems to be getting the most love so we're gonna go with that we've played two games in between uh, which I'm gonna show you the highlights of shortly but just before we get into it uh, I just want to bring your attention to the fact that you know a lot of you've been suggesting players for me to bring in uh, in the transfer market uh, which I'm really grateful please keep bringing those suggestions in keep getting them in I'll take them all on board uh, but what I want to say really is that I'm not looking to make too many big moves in the first season uh, you know at the end of the day in real life Rangers did go out and they made a lot of moves they made a lot of signings 15 15 14 players uh, roundabouts so you know this season I want to give this team a chance and then come the end of a season uh, when it's transfer window uh, in season two then we will analyze the situation and see what we need I am thinking ahead to it and if you know you have a look here we've got a few players on the shortlist that are ready to uh, you know perhaps uh, for us to try uh, and have a go at but for now we're going to keep it calm um, I don't expect a whole lot of moves in January, maybe one or two, uh, because, and you'll you'll see why in a minute. Um, but yeah, don't expect too many massive moves in the the first season. Uh, but as I say, keep them coming in, keep any tips coming in. Really, uh, I'll really do appreciate that. But now it is time, the highlights of the two previous games, starting with Hamilton's trip to Ibrox Stadium, and it started out. Very poorly, actually, as you'll see here, John Flanagan loses his man at the far post and Hamilton actually take a shock lead. Thankfully, El Buffalo pops up in the box with this lovely controlled finish after a nice cross to make it 1-1, which saw us back into the game. And that was swiftly followed by another Rangers goal this time. However, a certain Jamie Murphy pops up out of nowhere. I started playing wingers to try and press the game as a 4-4-2 formation and it worked like a charm and finally we get the third and final hit marker of the game as Kyle Lafferty gets put through and it finishes 3-1 surprise surprise we go 1-0 down again against Hibbs early on after some poor set piece marking once again I've really got to sort those sort of problems out but some brilliant build up play here leads to Morelos being put through by Lafke and it, it, it makes it 1-1 in the game shortly followed by yet again another Alfredo Morelos goal this time I don't know how he manages to but he somehow brings it down with his chest in the box don't know how he got the time to do that and it's a nice cool controlled finish and then to round it off Lafke gets put through and it's a really nice finish to once again a strange sense of deja vu make it 3-1 so that brings us to today's game. And you remember from a couple of episodes ago, we rescued the draw late on against Bayer Leverkusen. And that gave us a really good fighting chance because Krasnodar actually lost against our other Europa League group outfit, Luzerne. Uh, so it meant we're only three points off them now. And we got a really good fighting chance to qualify with two games to go. If we win this game today, we give ourselves a great chance. If we don't, then we probably... Uh, have to pack our bags and go home so it's a big game uh, and if we're going to the game plan now this is what we decide to go with and as I alluded to uh, slightly earlier the fact that we may bring in one uh, that's purely because we are now really edging towards the the idea of playing wingers so we may have to bring in a winger as you can see we're low we've got Kent Murphy Arfield and Candace but for me Arfield I don't really want to play him on the wing if I can avoid it, Murphy is hit and miss really old. I mean, he's he's done decent there, as you saw um, on the left. But at the same time, we do need uh, a little bit extra. And that four four two formation is very much working for us. I really have. I've been looking back at the sort of the game footage, and I'm I'm realising you know the style that I'm I'm personally playing is that of uh, exploiting the space out wide, uh, getting crossed into the box, using pace. 
um, and cutting inside, etc. So, you know, that's more suited to a formation where you've got both uh, fullbacks and wingers rather than a 3 5 2 or whatever. So, you know, we're going with that, and it's a 4 4 2, just simply so I can get more support to the striker in those two previous games. We had Lafty and Morelos up front, and it was working out well. So, we're going to stick with this, and as you can see, this is the team. Uh, the team for today with Fodderingham in goal as per usual Barisic, Katic, Goldson and Tavernier at the back Azaria and Ryan Jack make up centre midfield, in fact I'm going to replace make a last minute change Koulibaly will go into the centre for Ryan Jack um, Ryan Kent and Jamie Murphy on either wings both have been really really good recently uh, and then Umar Sadiq will come in. Lafty's looking a bit tired, so we've replaced him. But I have full faith in Sadiq because you might remember that against Bayer Leverkusen, he rescued the game for us with two goals. So, um, absolute faith in him. And, of course, El Buffalo leads the way. Team Spirit is on 63 at the moment. It's going up before it was low 40s. So, it's going up slowly by slowly. And a couple of you have uh, mentioned that to me as well. Uh, uh, as is the... Uh, you know, form with the players as well. A bit hit and miss, but again, I do like to prioritise stamina over form because of the fact of the way we play, the high intensity, covering a lot of ground. So that really rounds that off, guys. This is the team we're going with, and hopefully, hopefully, it'll be good enough to get us to win because I really would like to do well uh, in Europa League, and this is the first start. So without further ado, let's begin. Away we go then. You remember that these turned us over last time uh, they were just a better team but you know we've improved since then uh, I've personally improved since then for the game I believe a little bit anyway I say that as I give the ball away um, and that is not good at all and Connor Goldson reach it he doesn't have the pace so I'm going to stop talking now because uh, I said I'd improved and I gave the ball away so let's go with that Jamie Murphy wins it. He's got the run of Morelos. Finds Morelos. Oh, wow. That's so disappointing. We're missing so many chances in recent games. Those are the sort of chances that we're not putting away. It's really worrying. I mean, I really do think he's got to score there, to be honest. Oh, Jesus. Don't like that at all. Too much space. And uh, we got away with one there. Oh, nice play. Oh. Oh, it's bouncing around. Morelos can't get onto it. But it is a corner. Azaria once again. Oh, and the space in the middle. Oh, Jamie Murphy's got to put that away. And he'll find the run of Sadiq. Kent tries to overlap. Mess up front of the defender. Oh, unlucky. We win it back high, though, and that's the GGM press. In full swing there. Morelos. What am I doing? Just passing it around. Kent there. Oh, thank God for that. I don't know what I was doing there. I was so undecided. I really didn't have a right to, uh, to score that in the end. But somehow we got away with it. Ryan Kent there in the right place. Well done to him. And, uh, and it originally comes from the 1-2. If we just have a look here. So it comes into Morelos. 1-2 there. I, I thought I should have just shot then. Uh, somehow it creeps along the face of goal to Ryan Kent. And that makes it 1-0. I mean, Krasnodar... I can't actually remember the exact figure, but Krasnodar will be fuming because I think it's about two minutes after stoppage time. Uh, I'm not sure there was even a minute added. Yeah, I mean, it was 45 plus 3... And I think there was zero minutes added, so they should be absolutely fuming with that. But at the end of the day, we dominated. We deserve to be in the lead, and that is all that matters. Now, can I just bring your attention to here? Ryan Kent's stamina is absolutely dismal. I mean, we have a look at his uh, his range. His stamina 6-6. I've been training it. Uh, he's a box-to-box -box training we got, so that increases stamina um, a fair bit. But it's... <laughs> Really having an affecting game. It's, and it's another reason why we need to go out uh, and get a winger in, in the transfer window. Break attack is where we're definitely at our most strongest. And he's found Jamie Murphy, who's got space down the middle. He's going to have to cut it back. 
looking for the overlap of Ryan Kent. He gets it. And Kent, Morelos is there. Unlucky. Barisic comes out to him. He'll go on the volley. Oh, it's unlucky. Well won. And Jamie Murphy has some space through the middle now. They vacated that area so much. He'll go for goal. What a finish that is. Jamie Murphy. He just finds acres of space in the middle. I can't quite believe how they just backed off and backed off. The central midfielders for them, they've obviously been caught trying to press us on the attack. Uh, and we've won it back unexpectedly. Jamie Murphy picks it up. That's a great finish. It's about maybe like 25 yards out, perhaps. Uh, and he's done really well. Just inside the D. And great finish that is. And we are now in the driving seat, guys. And at this point, I am going to make a substitution. Our friend Ryan Kent looking tired again. So Candeus will come on for him. And we will also bring on Scott Arfield for Ajaria, who's also looking a little bit tired as well. Just want to freshen things up. But nevertheless, it's been a really good performance from us. And so far, so good. What a flick. And away we go again. Murphy has space. And he'll look for Sadiq in the middle. Oh, and lucky. Katic finds Kandeas. Can Tavernier get onto that? He can. And he'll look for the run of Kandeas. It's a brilliant run. And he'll go first time. Whoa. What a finish. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Candeus out of nowhere. There was no way I was getting a second touch on that. So I just went for it first time. I can't say I had a, I had an idea that that was going to be a celebration here. I've never seen anything like that before. But what a goal this is. Candeus, is it on his, it's on his left foot as well. From what I know, he's right footed. Uh, I, I'm not 100% positive on that. So someone correct me if I'm wrong. But what a finish, nevertheless. Brilliant ball from Sadiq. And he's just caught it so well. Brilliant. And that, guys, has surely got to be that. 3-0 now with, what, a couple of minutes left to go. About under three minutes to go plus stoppage. That has surely got to be that. Morelos will close down. They'll get it away. And that is it, guys. 3-0 in the end. What a win that is. We've performed brilliantly well. Back on our turf in the end. We've managed to get the win. And we've given ourselves a brilliant chance of qualifying for the knockout stage. But it isn't over yet. We still have to win against Luzerne, at least. Most probably, anyway. Uh, and so, we've got to stay focused. And if you look at the, uh, the stats, fully deserved from us. Um... I mean, Krasnodar barely had uh, an attempt on goal, to be honest. And if they did, it wasn't clear cut. So we've been we've been uh, top class today. Bayer Leverkusen beat Luzerne, which means they've probably qualified. Yes, they have. Um, and I'm not sure what that means for us because, well, hopefully it shouldn't mean anything anyway because Krasnodar are on a minus four goal difference, which means uh, if we win, uh, we go through. So that's it then. That is uh, that's it. All we have to do is in our hands. Pretty much because, well, I say that they could beat by Leverkusen by however many goals, but I don't know. It depends because in Europe it is a head to head record that they do, but I'm not sure if uh, that will be applicable in this game. So we'll see. We'll wait and see anyway. But for now, all we need to know is we still need to win against Azern. We can't take anything for granted. Um, so we did beat them last time, but nevertheless, it's still going to be a tough fixture. So that rounds that off there guys and yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it if we have a look at the schedule now and we want to plan uh, which game we'll come back for so I think to be fair there's only one we can come back for we'll miss out the St Johnson game and then do a Motherwell uh, and Luzerne double header I think that seems fair um, big game against Motherwell as well and then obviously we've got the final Europa League group stage game where we can qualify uh, for the knockout stage round of 32 it is in Europa League so I hope you're going to join me you're going to join me for that guys big big games 
uh, indeed and thankfully really convincing performance very pleased with that really happy indeed and um, hopefully it is a start of uh, a real good run of form now uh, that we've picked up three goals in three straight matches so let's just hope we can keep picking that up and uh, going on from there but that will round the episode off here guys if you made it through this far thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as well if you enjoyed it and you want to see more regular gaming content affiliate affiliate links in the description if you haven't got pez 2019 yet you want to get it on pc uh, that's what i'm playing it on they have it for as low as 26 pound 99 on uh, cdkeys.com uh, so do check them out in the description they'll give me a little kickback and it helps support the channel out as well thanks to everyone who's done that so far by the way i'm really grateful for that but on the meantime guys i'm brom 18 thanks so much for joining me and i'll see you next time